Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as Four Kids at One Four Seven, and I've got another unboxing today. Um, and this one is for a plan I have. So it's not just an unboxing. It's an unboxing, and as you'll probably be able to tell by the thumbnail, it is also a comparison because last year. And in fact, I think it was it was around the, the January time. I know I sort of ordered it around the same sort of time last year. I ordered um, some Alice in Wonderland paintings. Ooh. I don't know how this is packaged, but I'm trying to make sure that I don't. Oh, look. It, it's two boxes combined together. And it seems as though this one is all the drills and there's more there's more i'm trying not to repeat oh. okay there's a load of toolkits so let's get them out of the way i definitely have enough toolkits i will go through and show you what the toolkit contains but i'm trying to keep the address label sort of hidden but anyway this time last year ish I did a comparison on an Alice in Wonderland painting. So I did it in four different sizes, starting from 15 by 20. And it was an extremely complicated diamond painting image. Um, and I knew it was complicated when I purchased it. And I wanted to show that for a very, very busy image, how it looked in the small sizes because a lot of people that are new to diamond painting think it will still look okay in a small image so they order these big Disney, Disney sorry quite often Disney I've seen the ones that people are disappointed in um, big Disney images and the details just not there and they're disappointed so I did that video in the hope that it would help people to see how such a busy image you do need to go big. I've also done a comparison video on small sizes. So paintings that you can actually do in 15 by 20 and they look okay. So 15 centimeters by 20 centimeters, which is small. Now for this one of which I have five paintings, I thought I'd only ordered four, I probably just decided what the heck and got five. I've gone for more of an image in between. So it's an image that I'm thinking will still look okay in the tiny one, but will get slightly better and better as it goes bigger to hopefully give you another point to look at. So while this is an unboxing, this is also a comparison. I want to be able to compare the images more than anything in this video um, I've just this is the first time I'm looking at it at the same time as you so to confirm each of the tool kits that came with this have a pair of stainless steel tweezers a pink pen with a three multiplacer it has some baggies a decent white bow and some wax and I've got five paintings so I've got five tool kits so I'm going to get them out of the way because we may need the space. I am going to have a look at the canvases in a moment, but this is the image that I got. And it is actually, each size has a, well, some of these sizes actually have a different number of diamonds. So I don't want to open too many of them at once and get all the diamonds confused, but this is the image that I got. And the reason I got this one is sort of the clarity of this, the grass and the people and the trees. I figured you would be able to see from canvas to canvas getting clearer and clearer. Now, this first one is the 20 by 15, so the smallest size that they do, and it has 14 colours. I then got 
20 by 25, which has 17 colours. Okay, this one's got screwed up a bit. So let me just grab a... I am going to get the, the sheet out, but this is the 20 by 15. I'll sort out inventory on the diamonds later and check in that they're all in there and okay. But let's get the sheets out and we can compare the differences between each one. So this one is 25 by 20. And it's given me the longer size first because it goes across. This looks like one of the a lot bigger ones. Where's my opening? a lot of diamonds people okay so this one is a 50 by 40 sorry for the crinkling noise the crinkling noise will disappear once I've got in them all sorry if you open other side By 50. I'm popping on these with permanent marker. As long as I can tell enough, it saves me having to figure out which one. Is. And that one is 40 by 30. Okay. Crinkle out the way. I reckon that'll be easier for people now. So, 60 by 50 is the biggest one that I got. So, nowhere near as big as the Alice that I did. But I don't think it's an image that's going to need it. And 60 by 50 has 34 colours. Then I have 50 by 40, so 10 centimetres smaller. And would you believe this one has 39 colours? I love the way the colours vary completely. And this one has more, even though it's smaller. Maybe that's like the key image design, maybe. Okay, then we have 40 by 30. So again, we're going down in 10 centimetres. That one has 27. Then we have 25 by 20, so only a little bit smaller because of the sort of gradients that they did, and then 20 by 15. So we do go up in colours until we come up to this 60 by 50 where we actually go down in colours ever so slightly. And I don't know whether that will affect the clarity, but we will have a look at the canvases in a moment. What is interesting is the two smaller ones, so the 25 by 20 and the 20 by 15, don't have any black. There is no 310 in these. Um, we've got a 5200, which is a pure white in one, and a 3865 in another. But then come to the next one, we have both, 520 and 3865. The large one with the most colours, we have 3865, no 520, and the same in the bigger one. So, a little bit weird. The symbols don't match up the same as the colours. So while 3865 are both the plus symbols on these, it's an X on this one and a V on this one. So we do need to, I do need to do each of these paintings separately. Um, maybe I need to do a mammoth kit up on these if I can find enough tubs to use all at once. Um, there are colours that do go across them all. So 799 is actually on every single one. 
as is 797 but when you get to these bigger ones we actually have the 798 in the middle of it which will give you that little bit of extra shading between the two um, 550 is in all of the bigger ones but not in the small ones I'm trying to work out if we even have any colour that is in all of them well, sorry, we have the 797 that's in all of them and the 799 that's in all of them. 803, no, only in these higher ones. So, yeah, very, very different. See if that will sort of give you a screenshot if you do want to study the different ones. <coughs> but... I mean, what do we have the most colours of? So in this largest one, the most colours we have is of 939, followed by 310. In this one, we have the most of 820, followed by 310, and then by 939. In this one, we have the most of 939, followed by 798 and 797 before we then have a, a lot of 310. In this one it's uh, 797 we have the most of, followed by 823 which is about half that amount and in this one the most we have is 823. So I think they must do you know a program rendering for each and every one of these but let's do the exciting part let me get all the bits from unboxing off my table let's have a look at the canvases because this is where we hopefully will be able to see okay so when you look at this one close up when I'm looking at it my sort of level which is about there you can sort of make out what it is when it comes to further away which is why I do like to look in the camera when I pull back off a canvas you can tell we've got a tree and a couple in front of the moon so you can see the image and that's what I expected from this painting that you could see the image. I just think the image will get better and better the further on that we go. We've got lots and lots of these clear rubber bands. So the next size up that I got was 20 by 25. So for this one we're clearer. So am I zoomed all the way out? Okay, that is all the way out. Now, I'm not going to be able to get all of these in the same shot, not without any diamond stock on them, because I risk, you know, I risk it not being seen, but <coughs> I risk getting glue on them, on everything, and picking dust up. But on this top one, you can sort of see what it is. On this one, the tree becomes a lot clearer, and this is pre-diamonds. So we're talking pre-diamonds at the moment. Once they're all done, I of course will show you, and I expect that they'll look even better. But you can already see the difference between the two. If you did this one, you wouldn't necessarily be like, oh, I can't make anything out. You could see what the picture was. Yet if you did the 20 by 25, you'd be like, oh, yeah. That looks a bit nicer. So let's have a look at the next one. Now I have got these in squares. They do them in rounds also. I just have quite a few round diamond paintings at the moment. And I like to mix up round and square personally. So I've got all of these in square so I can mix them up. So I'm pulling them all from the same side 
just so that we do get a true reflection of the same thing without pulling the sheet all the way off. So on there, you can definitely see more detail in the tree. I don't even know if I needed to go bigger than 30 by 40, but we'll see how the image gets clearer. You can see all the detail here at the bottom. And of course, you've got detail in the shadow of the couple and a lot more detail in the moon. And that's by going even bigger. So the rule they say of bigger is better is true. However, you don't always have to go too big to, sit, to be happy. And that one is pretty much double the size of the next one. I don't think they had one in the middle. I cannot remember. I've got these clear elastic bands everywhere. They've like wrapped one round a tube and then put a clear elastic band on it each time they've gone along. Okay, which way up? So this one now we've gone even bigger and we actually get to two sheets of peel back paper for these now. And that one just has the tape still stuck. So I've just popped it down and rubbed it just to make sure the tape doesn't come back with it. Now it's looking a little bit more bitty this one, but I think that's because they have changed the symbols up a little bit. And this one has the most colours. So I think this one we will get a much better reflection of what it looks like, especially this bittiness here when it's done. So what is that P? And I can't see the symbol for looking. Is it a P? It is a P. Oh, so that P here that you're seeing in a blue is actually 310, which is black. So it's the way they've done the symbol. All this P is black. So we're not getting a true reflection of how detailed this one will look when it's done because they've not made it a darker symbol. Whereas on this second one, they made the 310 a dark green. So it still gave the reflection of being dark. And on this one, it doesn't. But I can see a lot more detail in the tree. And I think we'll see a lot more detail in the rest when it's done. At least I'm hoping so. Otherwise, why am I doing five paintings? Just pulling up just the last little bit on these just to make sure that they stay flat and don't have that curl. Okay, and then I'm going to have to do this one over the top because I don't have the space to move the second one out of the way. Last but not least, we have a 50 by 60. Now on this one, the, green, the 310 has gone back to being a dark green symbol. So maybe we'll get a better reflection on this one of what it'll look like. Oh, we get a better reflection of the finished image on this one because the 310 is a darker symbol to start off with, though it's not as dark as what looks to be the 939. So there we go. You can see if I can get it in shot, just. Okay, that's good for when it's finished. It'd be nice to get it all in shot. We've got a lot more detail in the trees and stuff for this one. Trying to stop the reflection of the glue. So we've got a lot more detail in this one and I can see the scattering in sort of, you know, the stars and the sky. And I think the effect down here, the little glow down here from the moon might look a little better. But I will get these done and we will see 
say I did really enjoy the last project. Though the last project, I think my biggest one was possibly double the size of this. So hopefully this one will get done quicker. But we will see because I constantly have lots and lots of projects on the go. But I wanted to show you the comparison of these canvases and sort of the unboxing of this. So keep an eye out for kitting up. I'm not sure if I'm just going to do kitting up separately and work these paintings in with my other projects and then of course only do the big reveal once they're all done okay where's the other size there it is so if I can get them to stack because I can pretty much get that one in shot so then we've got that one in the middle these all go down by about 10 centimeters each time then we do do a little bit more of a jump and then we've got a little mini jump. So we sort of went down by 15 centimetres here and then we went down by five. But if I remember right, they didn't have one that was 30 centimetres across. And that may just be to make sure that proportion stays in there for the image. I think I might start with the small one. Um, but then I might jump to the big, oh, I don't know. I don't know. You'll have to keep an eye out for the um, for the kitting ups of these to know which one I decided to start with. I'm not quite sure which way I want to go, big to small or small to big. I'll have to see what other projects I've got going on um, to which will work best. But hopefully this is giving you some inkling of what it will turn out like and giving you some ideas of ordering pictures of your own but I am quite excited to see how these turn out so that is the image I say we'll see how much clarity we get on that image step by step um, and I'll do a comparison once all of them are done and we can see how much detail shows up but I do think for every size we will be able to tell what it is um, it's just how good we want the image to look so thank you so much for joining me it might be a while for me to get through these canvases but it will be coming um, and I will speak to you all again soon